Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to story time. Are you ready to start? Well, we start by singing our hello song, and it's called Bread and Butter. And if you don't know the words, it goes like this. All you have to do is say hello back. Ready? All right, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Oh, that one was so loud I could hear it from here. All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. What's the opposite of slow? Oh, that's right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hoop! That was pretty fast. All right, you need a squeaky mouse voice for the next one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. And then a Papa Bear voice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. And then your very last one, show off your best library manners. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello boys and girls, welcome to story time. Good morning, boys and girls. On today's story time, we're going to read about Library Lily by Jillian Shields. When Lily learned to read, her mom was very pleased. She took Lily to the library and got her a library card. Lily was so excited. There were fat books, thin books, great enormous square books, old books, new books, and furry, touchy-feely books. Going to the library was like going on an adventure. The trouble was, once Lily started to read, she couldn't stop. She read at night under the blankets, and the great sea monster rose up from the waves. Lily, said Mom, aren't you asleep yet? She read in the morning when she was brushing her teeth. The rare lesser Amazonian snake lays its eggs. I need the bathroom, Lily. When her dinner was ready, she forgot to eat. Until that moment, I heard Wobbly Smith had never seen a ghost. Lily, please eat up. And when her mom spoke to her, she just didn't hear. Long, long ago, far, far away, there was once a perfect, oh, Lily, laughed mom. Lily read and read and read. There goes library Lily, people began to say. Always has her head in a book. Lily read all the way through a sizzling summer, an awesome autumn, and a wonderful winter. And when spring came around again, she was in a beautiful dream. She was reading. One sunny morning, Lily's mom took her to the park. Why don't you go play, asked mom. But I want to finish my story, said Lily. It's such an exciting adventure. Maybe you'll have an adventure in the park, said Mom. So Lily wandered over to the playground. Welcome to the park. Circus coming soon. No dogs on swings. And Lily read the signs. That didn't take long. 
She was just wondering what else she could find to read when someone called out. Hey, what are you doing? Reading, of course, said Lily. Reading's boring, said the upside down voice. In fact, I hate reading. Hate reading, gasped Lily. What do you like? Lots of things, the upside down person said. Playing, climbing, exploring. I'm Millie, said Millie. I'm Lily, said Lily. Millie grinned. Would you like to climb my tree? Lily scrambled up the tree to join Millie. From the top, they could see the green park, the busy streets, the library, and the town, all spread out before them like a picture. Wow, breathed Lily. There's a whole world out there, said Millie. There's a whole world in here too, exclaimed Lily, pulling a book from her bag. You'll see. And so, all summer long, Millie took Lily exploring. It was fun. Lily took Millie on adventures too. Millie decided that books weren't boring. After all, they were good. And what was extra special and what was extra special was doing everything together. There goes Library Lily, people began to say, with her best friend, Millie. What shall we do when we grow up? Said Lily to her best friend one day. Be explorers, said Millie. There's a whole world out there. So that's exactly what they did. When they came home again, they wrote down all their adventures in the most marvelous, magical, amazing, perfect book. You might just find it in your library. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story and I hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye.